Welcome to today's video news. I'm Megan Lam. Fingerprints have been used to identify individuals for centuries, but now scientists may have finally figured out how these patterns are formed, according to a paper published in the journal Cell. Previous studies have shown that fingerprints can be influenced by how fast the different layers of skin grow. Dennis Hedan at the University of Edinburgh, UK, and his colleagues started their studies from a new perspective: how genes affect fingerprint patterns. They identified the genes related to limb development, which could serve as the groundwork for print information, according to their work published in 2002. However, many genes are not involved during this formation process. The key is how they are deployed on the anatomy of the hand. Head on to Nature, a science journal. The team studied the ridges on mouse toes. And human cells grow artificially. They found two kinds of elements work against each other: a protein called WNT, which is important in skin development, simulates ridge formation. Another muscle called BMP inhibits the ridges. With the two elements fighting each other, they create the patterns of waves. The team also changed the timing and the location of the origins of the waves in simulations. They discovered that the waves collide in different ways, which help create the diversity of print patterns. Interestingly, the analysis of the fingerprint pattern supported the Turing reaction diffusion system. It was first proposed by UK scientists. And Len Turney in 1952 to describe a self-organizing system that creates patterns in nature, such as the feather patterns in birds and stripes on zebras. Based on the new study, it may be possible that the structures of human skin might all be generated by the same mechanism. Sarah Miller, a U.S. biologist, told the website Science News. However, more studies on how the skin that choose are needed to solve the mystery. That's all for today. Video news. See you next time.